a first time trial experiment. And uh, the card we're going to do is taken from Jane Allmark in the UK. I think she did a beautiful job. And so I just cased it because I loved what she did so very much. And what I'm looking forward to is that perhaps this afternoon when we get together on a Zoom and all make this card together, it's going to be fun to see the variations because I know that some of you have the butterfly set. Uh, some of you have the old dragonfly dreams. I think any of those will work for the same, same plan. So let me show you um, how it's done. Really fun part about is this. I'm going to make a little, ah, let's turn it this way. Get some my granny apple green here. Get a little bit of my blue right here. And I've got this nice uh, watercolor pen. And I will simply take my butterfly. Butterfly. Could be dragonfly, actually. And a piece of plain white paper. And let's do two of them, just in case one doesn't work or we decide, hey, maybe we want to. Okay, so I'm going to make a little puddle here, pick up some of my blue ink, and dab it right here. I'm going to try and go kind of fast because I know you get bored just watching me paint, and I don't blame you for that. More water out here. There we go. Can you see it? Nice and bright. I love this, this bright blue color. Put a little on each end. And that's going to bleed in with the granny apple color here. Let's do this one. See, I'm a little sloppy. I don't mind that. Um, but you might want to take a little more time when you do yours. So I'm going to just clean my brush off here. Let's clean it a little better. I should have a piece of tissue. I'm going to use the corner of the paper. I think that'll be fine. I'm going to get some green. And put that mostly in the middle and just let it bleed through. So vibrant. Pacific Point is the blue color that I'm using. So, well, I guess I forgot to do the blue on one end there. See how that bleeds together? And again, I could take a little more time and get a little different look. The other thing I didn't bring out was my uh, Wink of Stella. That might add a little charm when we get all done. And I'll just let this guy I'll put some blue on the end. There we go. So simple as that is, you can fussy cut this out or you can do it with your punch. I forget to look and make sure that you can see it. And that makes life so easy. And when it dries, it seems as though the colors pop out just a little more. If you're doing this in a class, be sure and have them stamp near the edge so that they don't have to tear their paper up like I just did. Okay, so there we get our little butterflies. Now for the uh, background, I'm using the ombre. And you can see in the original that uh, Jane did... She used the green, which is pretty too, and any of these ombre ones would be gorgeous. So um, just ink up this pretty background flower that comes with the dragonfly garden. Watch how this pops out. Just love it. However, not gorgeous. <laughs> well, might as well put a few more little flies over here <laughs> so and then we'll we'll uh, arrange our dragonflies like this and our words over here any of the words would be cute 
And then it's just layered on the black. Okay, isn't that pretty? Okay, now suppose you don't have, you didn't get in on celebration, so you didn't get the ombre. Not to fear, since we have this wonderful blender brush. You see how I've made my own? I'll turn it over and show you how I did it. I think it's got, got green right now. So I'm gonna just rub that brush on my green pad. And I wanna be a little bit careful because it will be, it'll show dark where you first put it down. But see how I'm just rubbing it across my paper, making my own ombre? And then once that's kind of off, I'm go with the blue. Start at the top where it gets darker. And the more you rub, the more of a, of a blended color you get. But watch. I almost like this better. A little more interest, you know, than just the real smooth. There you go. Isn't that great? Now, I did try that with our glossy paper. Uh, I didn't like it as much because you can see it, it got pretty blotchy. But you might want to play with glossy paper and see what you come up with. So there you are. Thank you for coming. And uh, we'll make that card together in a Zoom class later this afternoon.